Testing, testing. We back into a third film session of the week. I want to take a look at running back Tony Pollard. Uh, we know Zeke got 100, but Tony got 100 too. And I really wanted to, you know, take a look at his runs just in case we have to go to him if anything were to happen to Ezekiel. Knock on wood. If anything were to happen to Ezekiel, you know, like how in shape will we, uh, you know, will we be with Tony? And my initial thoughts in the preseason that if the offensive line blocks and if they're as top tier as we know they can be, then I know that we can live in a world with young Tony Pollard running back okay now um it's gonna be a combination we're gonna talk about o-line stuff here we're gonna of course talk about kellen moore and his schemings and then tony how he sees and how he runs okay let's run this play first let's run it for the cardio then get into it now um we see this play a lot in college football and it's really this is how strange this is because i love to talk football right this is really a screen it's really a bubble screen, but it's built like a triple option, right? If you think about uh, think about college offenses, you know, triple option, uh, Dak and Zeke are going to run the read option. If Dak gets to keep it, then he gets to sprint out with Tony and they run the speed option, right? That's kind of what this play is is built like but it's really only a bubble screen and let me tell you why first of all it's a bubble screen because we have the advantage down here if tony didn't go in motion right just imagine let me let me just stop it right here just imagine if this was like a three receiver set right if this was one two and tony was the third receiver right here then we have what we call the numbers we have the advantage we have two defenders to three offensive players right so with that advantage what we do is we get to turn these two guys into blockers versus these two guys and tony pollard basically gets the free run right here so it's basically a bubble screen right but i i just think it's so dope that it looks like a triple option because it's paired with the fake hand off to zeke and the throw to tony now how do i know it's not really like an option play let me get into the cartel view because if it was an option play, Dak would technically be reading this guy. And if this guy is going to stay here, then Dak should give the ball to Zeke. If it was like a full true read, that's what it would be. But, but Dak didn't give the ball to Zeke. He just threw it to Tony because we have the numbers advantage here. So, it was a bubble from the start, but I like how just that one look, it could look like multiple things. Now, what's going to happen next time? Well, when we see Tony Pollard kind of motion that thing out and get to the outside, what we may have next time is one of these linebackers that's been watching film. They may skate over to that side of the field and leave this portion open and we will really hand the ball off to Zeke. And now we have an advantage inside the box opposed to an advantage to the outside. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that's a that's another example of Kellen Moore pulling out the wrinkles, um, making making everything look like everything else, so we can have different options, you know, later on in the season. Let's keep watching. Just to make sure I didn't confuse anybody earlier when I was talking about read option, speed option, right? Y'all should know what read option is by now. But this is what a speed option is. This is when Dak and Tony Pollard is when they both run to one side and then we read the guy that we're not blocking, right? So in this situation, it'll be this edge player here. If he crashes down on Dak, Dak will pitch it and get it to Tony. If he stays wide on Tony, then Dak will keep the ball and cut this thing right around Lael and Zach Martin. Um, this this edge player turned his shoulders inside as if he was playing Dak, so the correct read is to pitch, pitch it to, to Tony. And in football physics, this dude shouldn't be fast enough to keep up with Tony, and he wasn't. Uh, so that's what I mean by speed option. So, hey, just, okay, so look, take this, right? Take speed option and then go back to the previous play that we were looking at. Think about it right here. If Tony was to swing around in motion, Zeke fakes and then Dak runs with Tony. That's what I meant by that. Uh, so I just think that will be a dope, you know, just a dope little um, play design there. And that's called the triple option in case y'all didn't know. But that will be a dope, little, um, a dope little, little thing for us to do if Dak could actually get moving with Tony next time. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. If nobody's confused, go in the chat box right now and type hashtag I am not confused. I appreciate y'all. Um, let's take a look at young Tony right here. Tony having this 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 speed, having this burst, but still being able to finish runs on the back end. Tony's going to get this sweep to the outside, and he's going to finish, man. I love how Tony finishes those tough runs right there. He's not a gadget back. You know, it's, it's still... It's still, you know, civilians out here talking about Tony Pollard is a, a gadget back. Uh, uh, he's more of a scat guy or something like that. All that's incorrect. 
This is incorrect. Tony ain't as thick as Zeke, but he will run people over. Uh, you know, he's not as good as Zeke, but he will still run people over. So let's just uh, let's just get that right. But Tony still having speed, having the burst of capital uh, to capture the edge and get upfield, and then get you an extra two yards putting his head down. I think that's fantastic, bro. Let's take a look at the cartel view here. What was the emotion for? Just to get guys moving. I, 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 ain't, I ain't mad at that, man. Get guys moving in emotion. Not mad at it. Then we hand it to uh, Young Tone. Da, 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 da. That's how it looks in cartel view. Let's keep watching. Let me say this too. Even though this is the Tony Pollard film session, I want to throw in a Leo Collins tidbit or whatever. Um, some improvement that I see from Leo Collins is if he missed with his hands, he he's learned how to reset his hands now. I have noticed this a few times. I kind of ignored it because you know. Um, you know, like I just haven't made like a like a super video like highlighting Lael or whatever. But like when I'm watching film, I notice it. But check out Lael Collins kind of lose his hands, but reestablish them quickly right there. See that? That's improvement from brother Lael Collins right there. I ain't mad at that. Good job. Now let's take a look at everybody but Lael Collins. Let's look at your three interior offensive linemen, Connor, Travis, and Zach. Then let's take a look at Young Tony on this screen here. Take a look at him, man. Take a look at him, man. Ah, take a look at your guys in space man oh goodness 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 you, you know man people people will sometimes say that this offensive line kind of give them vibes of the 90s offensive line i don't i don't think so because the 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 90s offensive line don't move like this now larry allen can probably see these guys in a foot race i would say but like as a whole like the 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 main super bowl 90s guys man they they not moving like this man they're not outside zoning like this they're not running screens like this bro look where we start at what line do we start at that's like the 15 we started at the 15 and we blocking at the 30 Connor Williams and Travis Frederick and Zach Martin blocking at the 30. That's fantastic, man. That, 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 that ain't nothing but yak sauce. And you put that with, uh, you know, Tony putting his head down, running through this arm tackle and getting a couple more yards, man. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, look at my cousin, Tony Pollard. Everybody focus right now. Focus. Look at my cousin, Tony Pollard. Watch this. Watch this. Everybody stop. Look at this guy. Look at this defender right here, 25. Look at him. Take a look at this guy. Cha-cha real smooth. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, my cousin, Tony, oh, he dynamic. Oh, bring it back. Oh, bring it back. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch one more time. One more time. Sir, do you know why I'm pulling you over? Psh, nope. <laughs> you was because you was speeding. Tony was speeding. Oh man, how is this thing blocked up front? Because it don't even matter because even if you left wide open, this happens to you. Psh, how is this thing blocked up front? Uh Tyron Connor, good to go. We're gonna pull the backside tight end. We're gonna kick 52. Fantastic job right here. Who is this? Uh Dalton Schultz. Look at this block from Dalton Schultz. He's gonna pull, 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 kick 52, and that's really gonna open the lane up right there. Uh Tyron Smith and Connor Williams are gonna take 93 to 55. That was executed fantastically. Uh, what about your center and your right guard? Your right tackle. All oh, that's good. And then next thing you know, <laughs> then you and next thing you know, Tony Pollard's gonna put his put his foot in the ground. It's morphing time. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Why are you bent all backwards? You gonna mess up your nice orange shoes and get grass stains on them? <laughs> boy, 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 your shoes gonna end up looking like your jersey. Get off the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Then you got to mess your gloves up trying to break your fall. Just stay on your feet. These things won't happen. What, what's going on? <laughs> oh, man. And then Tony running running through the arm tackle here. Uh, that's even better, man. Dragging this guy. That's my cousin, bro. 
Then let's take a look at this play. This is Tony's touchdown. You're going to get uh, Jamez Olawale getting a good block on 49, sealing him up. Tight end and Tyron Smith are going to do their job in creating this lane for young Tony. Uh, Jamez Olawale initiates the block, then kind of gets thrown off the block, but young Tony just going to run through 49. It's okay. It's okay. And then we see, who is that, 25? He's trying to redeem himself, trying to <laughs> trying to hit Tony and trying to get him back for what happened to him a couple plays ago, but we're not having that. Anyway, man, my cousin gets into the end zone. We got two running backs that rush for 100 yards. I think that's fantastic. Um, I can't wait to play against the Saints because I'm tired of people saying that we ain't playing against nobody. I'm tired of people saying that we're playing against uh, ju- uh, uh, JV defenses, junior varsity defenses. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of people saying that. So I'm really excited for this Saints game. I'm really excited for this Packers game. So we get to play two defenses that people are high on. And, um, you know, you know, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater, you know, he ain't he ain't Drew Brees or whatever, but he's. He's a form- a formidable opponent, so we'll see how that goes. And then we get to play Aaron Rodgers next week, man. So these next two games are very important to us, Cowboy Nation. And it's, and it's very, in- very important in terms of our smack talk. You know what I mean? If we can win this next two and go up, I can't count five, but we go up five and oh. Um, you know, good luck. Uh, good luck containing After canceling me. my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.